Hello and welcome to Three Questions With. Got my buddy Steve from Inspired you with us this morning. Hey, Steve, welcome to the show. Hey, Kevin, good to see you. Been a little bit, but uh, always a pleasure. Hey, thanks for coming back. So I just want you to kind of give me some advice today. So what are some of the top organizational concerns small to medium-sized businesses are facing today? What are you seeing out there? Sure. Uh, good question. So, you know, seeing, you know, quite a bit with prospective clients I speak with as well as existing clients. And we here at Insperity actually regularly survey our clients uh, to ask them and ask, you know, the HR leaders and the, the business leaders, you know, what are they coming across? What are they seeing? How how can we better help them? What's What are they facing? And, um, you know, kind of three main ones that, that kind of boil to the top are managing organizational costs. So I'm talking about benefits costs, workers' comp, EPLI, and administration costs. But all your organizational costs, you know, cost, cost money to run a business, right, Kev? Um, and then driving organizational efficiencies. So collaboration, innovation, putting the right people in the right seats so that you're being efficient with your workforce, right? Um, and then lastly, you know, all these kind of high level, but lastly would be cash flow. So not just money coming in, but three major types of cash flow. Operating cash flow, so you can run the business and everything happens day to day. Investing cash flow, like investing in your people, investing in growth of the business, and financing, financing for growth of that business so that the company has got some longevity. So those are probably, you know, the top three from, you know, surveys that we do with our clients and from what I'm hearing on the street. That's helpful, like you said, that you take the time to ask your clients. I mean, that's kind of business 101. Like, did you ask your clients? And most of us don't do that. Like, I, mean, like, like, I never thought of that. Might have been helpful. Steve, I want to flip it over. Let's, let's talk about this from an HR perspective. What do you see in there? Um, you know, that's a good one. You know, ever-changing work environment, right? Uh, we got hybrid workforce. We got AI stuff happening. We got chat GPT. You know, we, we got all this stuff happening with our people. But um, what we're hearing from our from our folks would be talent retention, right? You know, they get some of the folks, but what does that compensation structure look like? What does that benefits plan look like? How are they keeping those people? How are you keeping that top talent so they don't go down the road? Um, and then two, I'd like to kind of mush together, if you will, culture and employee engagement, because they kind of go hand in hand. Building trust with your employees, you know, what does the onboarding experience look like, you know, starting with a new company, um, any surveys, you know, um, you and I chat, you know, about your role and my role in businesses and, you know, like how are your students doing and how are your coworkers doing and how are we doing in Sperry? How are we, Mr. Client, how are we doing? How are we helping you? But also, why don't you do a survey and ask how you're doing by your people? And then let's not just ask the question, let's actually make some action on that question, right? Um, and some team building. And what do we do? You know, we all work together all the time. You spend more time in your office than you do at home for a lot of people, uh, unless you know your hybrid workforce, but you're still, you're working with those people. So maybe you do some type of event with them outside of work so that everybody knows each other and you have that internal respect and you build that culture. And then lastly, which everybody's important, everybody you know likes is, is compensation. So are we doing a salary survey? Are we making sure that our people are comped the way they should be? And more so, are we setting a plan for these people? So, hey, I know that if I take these courses and I put my time in and I accomplish these tasks, I can be a manager. I can be that next player. I can be that next leader. You know, are we outlining a growth plan for these people, which is part of their compensation? Steve, I couldn't imagine working in HR in today's world. I mean, to me, it is beyond challenging because like you said, you know, with a work from home environment, now I can work for any company in the world. You know, it's not before it's like, well, you know, I live in Drake and I want to be somewhere near my home. If it's all work from home, who cares? You know, and it makes it harder to retain people. And, and like you mentioned culture, I think that's mm -hmm. challenging when I'm sitting in the basement of my house all day. You know, maybe we Zoom, but it's not the same where, you know, hey, I'm having a bad day and I come by your office like, Stevie, let's go grab lunch, man. You know, I, I need a friend today. Just, uh, you know, I'll buy you lunch. Listen to me, okay? You know, but again, a lot of people talk about that. I just can't go into Steve's office, Steve's cube, and just, hey, you know, you told me a boy at a hockey game last night. How'd the game go? 
there's no more of that. You don't feel that bond with your people where we're coworkers, but actually friends too. It's hard to say yeah. about Zoom to get that and stuff. So, all right. So let's tie it all back to Insperity. How can you help them? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Great question. Um, how does Insperity help? Um, well, we ask, first of all, right? We have all of our experience, all of our knowledge, but every business is different. So what Kevin's business needs might not be what Steve's business needs. So before I assume and say, hey, here you go, here's the cookie cutter, you're going to take these steps. Let's talk. Let's find out where your goals are, what your challenges are. What are you running into? Are you looking to be acquired? Um, are you downsizing? And how we can we can help. So I guess kind of taking it back to the main uh, concerns for business owners as far as like managing their organizational costs. How does Insperity help? We've developed, you know, our PEO industry, you know, our, our CEO and founder pretty much founded it and went to legislation to get this whole idea of pooling businesses together and helping them with their people. Um, and we, you know, use economies of scale to gain buying power for medical benefits, workers comp, EPLI. And what that does is that, you know, keeps their year over year increases low. It gives them some predictability uh, for short and long-term cost containment <clears throat> on, on the organizational cost side. And on the driving efficiency side, that's where Insperity really shines. Our service team, when you say, you know, I couldn't imagine being in, in HR these days, you know, our team of people, you know, have 12 to 15 years of experience, uh, SHRM certified, working with a host of different clients. And we see what's out there. We we listen, we we help out. And that dedicated service team is there to guide you and, and looking at what are the new requirements in Massachusetts, in Colorado, in Minnesota, wherever you have those employees. So the Insperity model, you can hire somebody in any one of the 50 states, and we're going to work with you and help you try and get that culture, you know, get on that Zoom with them, have a conversation, you know, we all give back, let's get everybody to give back, let's all have that same rowing in the same direction mindset. Um, for cost containment, transparency, you know, Insperity is very transparent with, with their billing, we charge a per employee per month rate, uh, so you know what you're going to be paying, and it's right there in front of you. And additionally, you know, we're looking at how can we how can we contain that? How can we how can we help you move it, moving forward? And again, it's that service team. Um, you know, with Insperity, you you kind of work with us if you're if you're on a biweekly payroll. You know, you get paid on the 14th and the 31st. You're going to use Insperity's benefits and and our admin and our team and everything. And then you know, in the middle of the month, we're going to take part of our service fee. And at the end of the month, we're going to take the rest of our service fee, as opposed to hitting you up front. For, for those costs before you even used them. Um, it's just a really good model and uh, one that I'm, I'm proud to be part of and just love to talk to businesses, talk to people like yourself, learn about what's out on the street and see how I can better help and make it a better place. Steve, I want to backtrack for one second because you said sure. something that dinged me. Um, a lot of people are, are hiring people across the country now because we can Sure. But it's not as simple as it seems because now I need to know the laws in California and Texas. That's when Sparity comes in because you know the laws. I don't have to try to Google search this, right? Absolutely. Compliance is huge. And so because Insperity is established in all 50 states and you're partnering with Insperity through our, our PEO model, you can hire a Kevin in Colorado tomorrow and we can have them on benefits. We can tell you everything you need for compliance for that state all ready to go. And our folks aren't just sitting around saying, hey, where are you hiring your next Kevin? We're saying, hey, here's what's changed in these different states. We need to be ahead of this and take this action. So not only there to help you when you need us, but being proactive as opposed to being reactive. Steve, what's the best way for people to reach out to you? How can they learn more, my friend? Uh, best way is whatever uh, is your fancy. So LinkedIn is great. I'm on LinkedIn. My cell phone, I'm happy to share it. And uh, email steve.pouliot at insperity.com. Steve, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to call on the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Thank you. Appreciate you, Kevin.